Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use guides in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is a new feature of Premiere as of version 13.1.2, so if you haven't already, go ahead and update your Premiere Pro to that. If you don't have this version or a CC version that you can update, check out the card above. I went over a tutorial on how to do this on the older versions of Premiere Pro. So let's get started with this. Premiere has finally joined the ranks of the other Adobe programs by allowing us to add these things called guides into our footage. To get to them, we must have this selected right here. So we must have the program monitor selected. And then if we go up to view, and you'll notice that view is actually an entirely new tab up here with 13.1.2. If we go up to view, you'll see we have show rulers, show guides, and then lock guides. A lot of times it'll start off without any of these on. What we need to do is we need to turn on show rulers and then we need to also turn on show guides. If we drag one out like so, it'll automatically turn on the show guides. If we turn it off, all the guides will disappear. They'll all come back, simple as that. So with guides, it allows us to create these elements which are independent of what is in the timeline. So these are always going to be displayed. What this allows us to do is it allows us to sort of define different areas. And from that, we can then line up different elements. So what I have right here is just some footage that I got off of Envato Elements. It's a subscription-based service where you just pay some money a month and you get an unlimited amount of stock footage in Premiere Pro templates. Great, if you wanna check that out in the description below. Um, but I just have this footage right here and I put this text and then I nested it. So like, let's say that we couldn't touch this text. We wanna take this text and we wanna actually line it up with this over here. We wanna create some new text over in this footage, but we don't know where it's at exactly. So the easiest way to do this now is with guides. So what we do is we just drag out these guides and we sort of define this box over here. And then once it's defined, anywhere we go in the timeline, it'll now also be defined. So if we wanted to create some text, we could do that right here. We could say something like New Mexico, click it and then just drag it right in that box, try to center it the best we can. And now we have, if we go ahead and we go up to view and we make sure this is selected, show guides. Now you'll see that they are perfectly lined up with one another, making it so that everything has a lot more of a consistent feel with it. Guides can also be saved as templates. So if we go up to view, again, you have to make that selected. That's sort of an annoying part. You always have to have this selected to do anything with guides. So let's show them again. And you'll see that I've already actually saved this as a template. So if we go ahead and we go up to view and then clear guides, if we went to guide templates and then hit um, lower third TV, you'll see that it pops up immediately. But we can create anything we want here. So let's go ahead and again, clear these. And let's create some random one. Let's say that we have uh, one right here and we have some elements right like that and elements right like this, some, some crazy stuff like this. If we go to guide templates and hit save guide as template and we name this like uh, logo location, something we might use all the time. If we then go up to view and then go down to our guide templates, you'll see that it's saved right in here. We can hit logo location. And what's great is now we can actually switch quickly between them. So we've, we've set our logo and now let's go to our lower third. So we click on lower third, the guides are set up for that. We go, um, now we wanna check you know, the safe margins. So we go to guides, check the safe margins. A lot of opportunity here. So that is as simply as possible, the guides. The guides are very, very important and I'm so glad they added them because it allows us to do just a little bit more in Premiere Pro, make sure everything's lined up and add just a little bit more professionalism. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and subscribe button. I make a video every other day. And until next time, guys, see ya.